Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about stinky dishwashers. Does your dishwasher stink? Here's how you're going to clean it and we're going to do it in three easy steps. So follow along real quick, but what you're going to need is white vinegar, of course. Baking soda, of course. First step of this is really going to be to look at your filter in your dishwasher. So I'm going to go down and show you the filter in the dishwasher. We're going to pull that out because that's going to probably be where you have some grime, you have some things that, are, you know, maybe a paper that was on a plate or something like that. That's where it's going to get trapped is in the filter your dishwasher first. So step one, take that out. So this is going to be dependent on your dishwasher model, but ours, basically, if you turn it counterclockwise, it pulls out your filter and you can see, well, there's a carrot, but you can see it's pretty dirty. Now there's a little bit of hair in there. That's nice. A little bit of leftover food. So you're really going to want to take that out and get that really um, scrub clean. That's step one. Okay, so this is what a clean filter looks like. You can see my fingers through it. No more grime on it. And basically you're just gonna put that back in. It's really easy to do. You're just gonna sit it back in there. And then you're gonna turn it clockwise, at least on this one. You turn it clockwise and it locks itself back in. Second step is using white vinegar in a small, obviously you wanna make sure it's dishwasher safe, but all you're gonna do is basically pour in. Now we're gonna fill this up quite a bit but I'm gonna pour in a little over, I think a cup here, that's what it looks like, um, of white vinegar in the top of this. And we're gonna run a cycle through. But you can see I put this in here, it's pretty good where it sits in there and you're just gonna slowly close that up. And you're gonna run a, a cycle on your dishwasher. Um, we're just gonna run a short cycle through on it and that's your second step. Okay, so the wash cycle is finished. It's been about an hour later that we did a quick wash with it. And you can see the steam coming up from it um, so we just got it finished now and you can smell a lot of vinegar, right? So that's the that's the point of it and There is your cup This is probably gonna be hot it is so be very careful if you're doing it this close to your cycle I'm just gonna get rid of that So we're moving on to step three so step three you're gonna take baking soda You're gonna sprinkle it all across the bottom. I'm gonna put some on the door. We're gonna put it everywhere Basically, then we're gonna run one more cycle, one more hour cycle if you can, uh, short cycle if you can, and then you will have a clean dishwasher. So here we go. Okay, so what we're gonna do is take one cup of baking soda, pure baking soda, and we're gonna sprinkle it all inside of here. You know, you can get a little bit on the door and that sort of thing, but you just basically wanna sprinkle it around. And a cup is quite a bit, so when you actually are sprinkling it around, if you get it on the spinner, it doesn't really matter. Get it all in there. Once you do that, you're gonna run another cycle and you're gonna have a sparkly clean dishwasher when we're done. So let's start the cycle. Okay, so the cycle ran, the baking soda is completely gone and it has zero, it smells nice and clean. It has zero smell to it. It's not that moldy smell and that sort of thing. And now if you notice, because we actually cleaned this out the first time, we cleaned this out when we, before we even started, you can see how nice and clean that is has zero grime in it or anything in it. So this works extremely well. So that's it. Subscribe to our channel. This is how you clean your dishwasher. I would say you probably wanna do this like maybe on a once a month type thing. Um, depending on how often you use it, we run ours a ton. So depending on how much you use it is how much you wanna clean it. So we do ours about once a month and it's really cheap to do. Vinegar is really cheap. Baking soda is really cheap. So that's it. Subscribe to our channel. Give us a thumbs up. Super thanks is always welcome and uh, we'll see you next time.